Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and today is finally the day. The day that so many of you have been waiting for. Tacovas releases their square toe boot and I have it right here. Let's get into it. This is the moment that so many of you have been waiting for. Tacovas finally has released a square toe cowboy boot. And I have it right here. We're gonna do an unboxing and review right here, right now. So let's get into it. Let's stop talking about this and just do it. All right. I am very pumped because ever since Tacovas released their cowboy boots, so many people have been asking about the square toe. This is the Jackson. I'm gonna open it up sideways so you can see from this view up here. Okay, okay. All right, so we have a letter here, which is our exchange information. Koozie, as you can see. There it is. Take in the smells. Gotta take in those leather smells, you know what I'm saying? Okay, wow. Check it out. The square toe is beautiful. You know, I, li I like what they did with this square toe because it's not the wide square toe. It's more of a, a wide French toe which I prefer. It's not quite French toe, a little bit wider, and it doesn't have the angle that a French toe does or the clipping on the sides, but it is very reminiscent of a French toe. This looks like a great boot. I can't wait to try it. Let's get the other one out of the bag. All right, let's really dive in to see the qualities of this boot. The first thing I'm noticing is the thickness of the leather. It's not quite as supple as the Earl was, at least from my memory. I remember the Earl being super supple with the calfskin that they used on that. Uh, and you can see the review that I did earlier this year about the Earl, but this one feels a little bit thicker. I don't know if that's just me or if that's uh, something that they changed or they're just using a little bit different leather for the Jackson. Still, it is it is pretty supple. I mean, you can see it. Uh, it just feels a little bit thicker. I like the square cording that they do here as well to match the square type of the toe. It's, it really brings it all together. That's a good design eye there. The leather lining is nice. And I like that they have sewed the leather lining to get rid of the crease on the inside. On a lot of boots, you'll see that even though they're leather lined, where they stitch the two parts of the shaft from the back and the front, on the inside, you'll get that thick part. And sometimes that can rub up against your leg and cause some irritation. But here, they have one piece of lining and they've sewed it together and then ended up sewing that to the inside and probably gluing it as well. It's just very smooth on the inside. You're not gonna get any irritation like you might from some other boots. It just really adds a level of uh, sleek comfort and luxury, which could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you're looking for. The square toe looks nice. I am a huge fan of the single stitched welt with the square toe, and this is more of a tapered square toe than what we usually see on my channel. Square toes are usually like wide and we see a lot of double stitched welts. I am really happy to see that Tacovas went the single stitched welt route on their square toe. A lot of companies will release a square toe and do two rows of stitching on their welt, the double stitched welt, and I really don't see that as being a extra quality enhancement, right? Some people argue and say that it makes for a stronger boot, but then other people argue that it actually makes for a weaker boot because the extra holes in the stitching uh, cause water and dirt to get in there and actually rot the boot faster than what would happen with a single stitched welt. I've never had a problem 
with a single stitch welt lasting for years. Never had a problem. I got a pair of boots that's a single stitch welt that's 13 to 15 years old. Absolutely never had a problem with it. Never thought to myself, wow, I need an extra row of stitching on my welt to make sure that my boot stays together. I think it's just for fashion. I think it's just for design. Sometimes it can be done well, but most times I think it's overkill. I really like the fact that this is a single stitched welt and it's super tight up against the boot. I love the tight look. I also like the fact that they didn't go super wide with their square toe. It's tapered, looks like a French toe, kind of, as we said, just a little bit wider than a French toe. But it still looks great. I love this look. On the inside here, we have a leather insole, which is sewed in, it's not removable, and it has like a foam bit, so it's a little soft, but it's not as soft as a gel insole or what you might get from an Ariat. I prefer the leather insoles, whether they be a little soft leather insole or a hard leather insole. I think that you just get a better fit and a better feel from a leather insole, so I'm happy to see that they're sticking with the leather insole on this Jackson boot. We also have a leather outsole with lots of wood pegs and a few brass nails which is always a good thing to see. That is how a traditional boot is made, and I love the fact that Tacovas is keeping it traditional. We have a rubber heel cap and a leather stacked heel. This is an inch and a quarter leather stacked heel with a little bit of taper, not very much. I would still call this a Stockman heel. It's a little bit higher than what you might see with the Earl model, but it's not quite as tall as what you see with the Cartwright. So it's a nice in between. But one quick thing before we finally put this boot on, I wanna talk about my thought process when ordering this boot. When I ordered the Earl Roper earlier this year, I ordered an 11D. Now that has a medium round toe. And as I was doing an extended test and doing that road trip that I did, I found that it was just a little bit small for my foot. I am really a 12B size. Tacovas does not carry 12Bs. They only do the Ds and the double Es. Hopefully at some point they branch out into narrower widths because there are a lot of us out there who have narrow feet and really would like that arch support that you just can't get with a D width when you are a narrower size. But a lot of times we can get the D widths to fit if we come down a size. So I decided to go with the 11D here because it is a square toe and also because the 11D of the round toe was just a little bit small. This has more room in the toe box and I think it will be the perfect fit but there's only one way to find out. All right, let's just slip this boot on here. Okay, it feels great, but I can already tell that it's a little big. It does look really, really cool, but I do have a large boot, but it's a weird fit for me. The arch is in the wrong spot for me because these are made for people who are literally a 11D. As you can see, this boot is too big. Like, I'm getting too much crease here. Uh, when you get that much extra leather creasing up at the widest part of your foot, that means the boot is too big, okay? You want a really, really snug fit around the widest part of your foot, but not so much where it cramps the toes. So if there was one thing I would say it's that Tacovas has got to do B widths. They got to do B widths because this leather is going to stretch, even though it doesn't fit very well right now. It's still going to stretch, and this boot will end up looking floppy. So a ten and a half isn't going to work for me because that's going to push the arch further back even more. And eleven and a half isn't going to work for me because that's going to 
cause even more looseness and floppiness as the boot breaks in. Still, with all that said, this is a great looking boot, okay? I don't want any of that to deter you from looking into this boot or to even trying this boot. And this is a good example of why you need to try on Tacovas on carpet. Because if you put them on and you're having a sim similar issue that I'm having right now and they're a little bit too big or a little bit too small, then you didn't scuff up the bottoms too much. And they're still good to return. Tacovas does take free returns and exchanges. So when you try on your boots on carpet, you keep your boots in mint condition so that they can take them back. Okay, so I'm a fan of this boot when it comes down to it. This is exactly what I would expect from a square toe Tacovas. It's got a nice modern square toe look, which is a little bit wider than a French toe, but not a very wide square toe that we see from a lot of other companies. Plus, it's got that single stitched welt that is tight up against the boot that creates a nice sleek and classic design. So they're mixing traditional and modern aspects and they did a great job with it. Now, the only thing I have against it is the fit. Now, I'm a narrow width. Like I said, I'm a 12B. 11D doesn't quite work for me because the arch is in the wrong position and I have a little bit too much extra space in this toe box because it is a square toe. If I went down to a 10.5D, it might fit better in the toes and around the widest part of the foot, but that makes the arch issue that I already have with this 11D a little bit worse. It's gonna push that arch back even more and it's just gonna cause uh, more discomfort and other foot problems that I just don't want in my life. So I'm not gonna try the 10 and a half D. I can't try the 11 and a half D because that's gonna be even more wide and even bigger. So I just don't think that this boot is for me. Now that's something to consider if you have a narrower foot like a big boot is just a big boot. That's, when it comes down to it, there's nothing you can really do about it. There are ways around it, like putting in inserts, but you can't shrink a boot. Water doesn't shrink boots, okay? It just doesn't work like that. I would really like to see a B width from them, but that doesn't change the quality of this boot. That's just a narrow foot problem. I have that problem. Some of you out there are gonna have that problem, but most people are not gonna have that problem. D width is average, okay? Double E is also carried by Tacovas. So most of you guys out there aren't gonna have a problem at all and are gonna completely enjoy this boot. And to be honest with you, I'm gonna be a little bit jealous because I really wish that this boot would fit me. What do you think? about the square toe Tacovas. I am super happy to see that they finally have released a square toe cowboy boot. And are you wondering if they're gonna be coming out with exotics? Well, Tacovas answered that question on their Instagram, exotics in the square toe. They said is coming spring of 2020. So you really don't have much longer to wait. Now, I initially thought that these were gonna be a limited run, but this is now part of their collection all the time. You will be able to get this boot forever unless they sell out and then restock. If you like this boot, I would say jump on it because I could totally see this boot selling out this Christmas season. Let me know what you guys think of the Jackson Square Toe Cowboy Boot down in the comments and also let me know what toe style you want to see from Tacovas next. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Finally, we have a square toe from Tacovas, done in the Tacovas way. Yeah, that square toe seems a little bit bolder with single stitch welts among trades. Oh. But square toes make the fit more wide So keep that in mind depending on your size Finally we
we have a square toe from Tacovas done in the Tacovas way. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to check out the link in the descriptions to see more about this Jackson square toe boot from Tacovas. I'll catch you next time. Peace.